Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a question from a gentleman. He's having a bit of a problem making a full width slider. Um, he says he can't actually make it full width. Well, it really couldn't be easier. I suspect you're not using the full width module. So I've made one here and it's got a little video on it. And next one's just got an image with title, call to action button really easy to do so let's get started the first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder and let's delete this section I've got here okay I'm gonna add a new section I think I'll put it on the bottom and then scoot it up the top is probably the easiest little blue button for a section green for a row and dark for a module so I'm going to make a section but this time instead of a regular section or a specialty section I'm going to add a full width section and the full width section gives you a more limited group of modules but within those is a full width slider and if we go down there we are there's our full width slider so job done that was a very quick video no just kidding let's uh, let's decorate it a little bit and make it automatic and, and things as you can see by default it puts in a title a bit of lorem and text and a call to action button the reason mine is purple and growing I've obviously got it customized in my theme customizer but you can customize the buttons within each slide individually so this is obviously slide one we're looking for let's go in there change your title there if you want to and whatever you want the button to say put in right there I'll leave that just as it is Here's the content obviously and like any other WordPress text module you can add a little image in there if you want to. You can align things left, right, center, make them bold, change them from into headings if you need to. I'll leave mine right there. What I will do is split it up into a few more lines there. Let's say let's take it from there. Rather than just hitting the space bar or the return which will give it a, a sort of a line with an extra line in the middle. I'm going to actually hit shift and return that way it just drops it to a whole new line and I'll do the same again we'll split it up one more time something like that but of course this is all up to you now if you want to add an image or something or a video again it's entirely up to you let's add an image and we'll select an image really doesn't matter it's just for demonstration purposes now you see we've added that image and it's already left aligned this for us because we've added an image on the left hand side there which is quite cool and if you don't want one just to get rid of it it'll go back to how it was now the actual background of the slide itself it's got the sort of generic light blue in there let's go down well before we go down there I guess I better show you about the links in the link you can have a link for your button right there just put in wherever you want the link to go if it's on your main site which is or the same site as we're on here which it usually will be you want it to open in the same window if not you can have it open in a new tab the new site will come up and leave your site open now if you want the whole slide itself to link to somewhere else you can put that in there or you can put the same link in there too doubles your options of somebody clicking getting them to the same place same deal with the link same window option there so let's go on down to the background next and as you can see they've got a color in there not too keen on that I'm just going to change that to a blue but I'm going to put an image in here also so you've got color gradient image or video let's add a background image 
guess I'll use the same one as I used before. I think it was that one. And that's fine. You actually, you can see the text and everything quite well in that. There's a couple of options though if you can't. And if we scroll down just a little bit, you can change the way it displays to either cover, fit, or the actual size of the image. Where it is, center, center. That's usually where I like to have mine. You can tell it not to repeat if you want to. If it's smaller, it's going to repeat to fill fill out the area. Background image blend. Now that's a really interesting one there. At the moment, we haven't got anything. But you remember I put that blue in the background there? With this, I can sort of multiply it with the blue and it'll go dark like that, which really makes things stand out. And they've got all other options. I think darken is the one that I quite often use with that. That's really nice. But if you look through some of these, they really are, you can get some stunning effects going. So play with them and you can get some fantastic effects. All right, well, there's our first slide. Let's just save that. We're back in the main full width slider settings now. Here's our second slide. See what we can do with this. I'll leave the text just exactly as it is. The image and video. Let's add a, a video for fun this time. So you just hit add video. I'll grab one of my YouTube videos. Insert from URL. Paste the URL in there. Okay, there's our video in there and we can roll on down, set up the links if we want to, change the background again. This will put another image in. And we've lost our text a little bit there. Let's move this over. So we've got, again, two options. We can go down and do our little Thing with the multiply and all, all that sort of thing that makes it work a little bit but our background color I'm not too keen on so let's go back down to background color change it to our blue color I mean that works pretty well now if I take that off of there our other option is to go into our design tab and you can add an overlay if you want to use background overlay. That's pretty cool. You can choose the color right now. That's that's actually working pretty well. You might want to make it a little bit darker. So make it black and go into the color on the right hand side. You can just pull it down the opacity or see throughness until you can see enough of the image and keep your text very visible. So something like that might work. Now they've also got options you can overlay the text. So if we were to take off the background overlay, use a text overlay, you can see it's added a little text, dark box around the text for us there. And again, you can go in there, get it the color you want it, take the opacity down the way you like it. But for me personally, I think I'm going to just use the overlay. I'm going to use a blue color. We'll just pull it down. Something like that. Fantastic. And while you're in the design tab, you can do all kinds of other things. You can stylize your navigation, little arrows that go at the ends there. Dot navigation at the bottom here, you can color those up. You can round the corners on your image. I don't know if that'll work with a video. Let's try it. I've not really tried that before. No, you can't round the corners on a video, obviously. But that's fine. You can put an image border. Give it drop shadow if you want to. And all kind of filter effects there. Text, you can make the title and body text do those separately or all at once title text perhaps you can make it to change the font to make it bold and a lot larger let's 
great. A little bit of text shadow there. Body text you can do similarly if you need to do anything with that button. Like I say, you can style that if you want to by hitting the custom styles for the button right here. Uh, you can add your background color. I think all I'm going to do is just change the box shadow on that because that looks a bit weird. There we go. I'll just leave it like that. So we're pretty much done. Now let's save our second slide here. Now we're back into the main slider settings. We want to make this automatic so it slides automatically. If we go down you can choose the elements. If you don't want to show these arrows you can turn that off. Same with the buttons, the controls. But if we go over to design, right down at the bottom to animation, we can choose to turn automatic animation on or off here. Well, I want it on because I want mine to automatically animate. I want it to flip every five seconds, default seven seconds or 7,000 milliseconds. So five seconds will be 5,000 milliseconds. I don't want it to continue automatic slide on hover because that means when they put their mouse over it it's going to continue to slide to the next one and this way it'll pause gives them more time to read something if they're interested and hit the call to action button or watch the little video in that particular slide. So we should be good to go. Let's just save the changes. Before I do that, I've forgotten it's right on the bottom here, isn't it? So I'm going to flip that up to the top. To do that, I'm just going to go into wireframe wire mode, I should say. Grab this, left click, just drag it all the way up to the top. Drop it in there. Now we can save and exit. It'll be up the top where I wanted it. And exit the visual builder. And there you have it. There is a full width slider with the video and an image that automates every five seconds. So I hope that's answered your question. It really couldn't be much easier. Obviously, I haven't spent hardly any time on each of these. You want to spend a bit more time on yours and, and uh, make it really effective. But that is the way to start. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.